number one, 40% of your curb appeal is your garage door. And most people don't think about it. On a multifamily unit, some of the times they're, they're, you know, they're facing the main road and it can actually add a ton to the curb appeal of the home. Another thing you got to be thinking about is energy efficiency. And in a rental home is what's called, you've got vinyl back, which is just a, a piece of uh, insulation in there that pushes in. And you have steel back. It's a sandwich door. It's steel. It's polyurethane or polystyrene, and then it's steel on the in, uh, the inside as well. And a lot of people say this is a rental. I'm not going to put any money into it. But the cost difference is not a lot of money, but they're, they're basically indestructible doors. And when you think about just renters, they do a lot of damage to these things. So I recommend getting some a, a big manufacturer that you'll always be able to get panels for. Make sure you ask them if he's going to be out anytime soon because – you're going to replace a panel here and there. Uh, I'd also recommend always replacing the trim, the weather seal on the door. And then nowadays with the openers, they have things, LiftMaster and a lot of the other brands, uh, Clopay or Cookson, I'm um, sorry. Uh, you got LiftMaster, Chamberlain, and Craftsman are all the same company. They have this thing called MyQ that you could open it from your phone. Now, depending on the, the nicer, the, the multifamily, the better you should be putting and you should be thinking about this. It's not a lot of money these days. So I like it because you can open and close your door from your phone. Uh, it's actually got a little thing right here. I got one sitting here, but this will allow you to close your door after five or 10 minutes. Uh, so it'll automatically close. There's a lot of uh, benefits to putting on some nicer things, but you really just want something that's going to make it through the test of time. And I go to, complexes all the time and all the doors are messed up because they didn't get steel back. So I'd highly recommend the steel back. I'd recommend an easy light color to paint them because the metal is not like stucco or wood. It actually scratches and dents a lot easier. So pick a lighter color and you don't see the blemishes as much. Those are the core things I would tell you just off the top of my head. So what's going to be the, the cost that we should be thinking about, you know, and, and especially with the steel back versus uh, the vinyl, like you were talking about. So on a 50 to a hundred unit, I, you want to get several bids. And um, I personally, we get the best multiplier. So you're probably going to be getting them from Clopay or Amar. Uh, Amar's who sells to Home Depot and Costco, Clopay's who sells to Home Depot. Uh, so, or Lowe's and Lowe's and Costco is Amar, but anyway, usually they're eight by seven. So it's a one car, uh, but it's a two car. You could be looking at for a door and opener install with that kind of volume. I mean, you're probably going to be 800 bucks for the door and the opener and trim. And then the single door, you could probably get down to six. Now, if you want to go still back, be willing to spend an extra hundred to 200 bucks a door, but you're going to save that in energy and I know you're not paying the energy bill, but you're a lot less uh, use of the air conditioning unit, a lot less uh, just damage to the door in general. So it's really, is the juice worth the squeeze is what I say. And in this case, it always is unless you're flipping them. So if you're flipping the complex, you're just trying to get that rent roll and get out. You know, in that case, I would just get the cheapest possible. But if you're going to be keeping it and keeping that as a dividend, paying you all the time, then I'd say get the next step up. It's not worth it's not a lot of money to do it and i would say make it look a little nicer you know i do a lot of these complex i work with a lot of people that do multifamily, and they're starting to invest in nicer and nicer things because when you walk up to the home sometimes i walk up to five million dollar homes and they still got the cheapest garage on there and i know i'm a garage door guy so i'm uh, i'm a little bit <laughs> different than most people but i think it makes such a big difference when you see a nice garage it really it's, it's i call it the smile of your home is your garage it's, if you got nice hardware and it looks good, it really makes everything else look better. The landscaping, the, the color of the home. So it, it's, it's not that expensive. It'll be under a grand for a two car with, with the steel back in the, the opener. And then um, it'll be about seven, 700 bucks for the one car. Nice. So how do we know what company to buy from or, or uh, for the labor? So I like to find a company company that's licensed, bought, and insured, you want to check out how long they've been around, go on their BBB, um, always check out Yelp, Angie's List, things of that nature. Uh, I like to get word of mouth. So I've got a lot of friends that I ask for different things, but the problem is a lot of the big companies use a smaller guy that's not there all the time. When he goes out, you don't, you, 
you don't get the service. So make sure they're a big enough company that they can generate, they can work seven days a week. Make sure if they got an emergency call, you could be out there. And it's different when you're talking about looking for a guy that's flipping two or three houses a month versus a multi, you know, a hundred unit complex. You want to go to that next company up. You want to get a little bit better company that's going to be around there that can send three guys out at a time to get things done faster. And I know, you know, the smaller guys just don't have the overhead, but they don't have the overhead because they don't have a warehouse. They don't have the 24 seven call center. They don't have the training. They don't have the, the nice trucks with the welders on them and everything. So in my opinion, you don't need to go to the most expensive. I would just go to the next level up rather than the, the, the two guys in a truck. 